fish out a bit tonight. Good luck, pronounce the name. Good evening and welcome to the 2008 Commencement Exercises for Green Simple High School. At this time, would everyone please stand for the procession.
can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening with grateful hearts for all of the blessings that you have bestowed upon us throughout our school years. You have kept us in the palm of your hand. You have guided us. You have watched over us. For all that you have done for us, dear Father, we thank you. We ask now on our graduation day that you bless this ceremony Bless all who will be taking part in this special evening. Open our hearts to the words and music that we will hear. Help us to savor these moments, our last time together at Green Central as the class of 2008. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. Welcome to the graduation of the class of 2008. As student body president, I'm delighted to welcome graduates, parents, family members, friends, and faculty. To our friends and family audience, we thank you for putting up with us for all these four years. We'll listen to us complain about anything and everything, and for giving us advice even when we didn't want it. To the faculty, you taught, you taught us so much. much. Even, Even if sometimes, sometimes we tried very, very hard not to listen. Without, without your dedication, we would not be here. I don't think I'm alone in saying that I count many of you as friends, not just teachers. Last week, I had the privilege of sitting at the Mari Fire Station for my captain. He told, he told me something, something, something that, that I would never forget. He said, Trey, what, what is the difference between ordinary people and extraordinary people? He said, what makes great people great is that they focus on what they can do instead of what they can't. Instead of worrying 
about, about what goes wrong, wrong and complaining, complaining about their certain things. They, they focus on what they're able, able to do. do. What, what he said is so true. true. Think, Think about, about what we can't, can't do, our limits, instead of our can, what we can, can do and the potential we have. Why, why do we do that? that? Why, why is it that, that we constantly limit ourselves? Why, why is it that when I get, I get done, done with a speech or any kind of presentation, presentation I immediately think of the things I did wrong instead of the things I did right. We need to quit focusing on the negatives so we can get back to the positives. I have come to find out that life is a lot better when you focus on what you can do instead of what you can't. This past summer, my grandfather Alan and I were chucking in the back of and we were talking about my great-grandfather's life savings. He would say, you have to make hay when the sun shines. I remember asking my granddaddy, what in the world does that mean? Simple, really. He said, it means you have to make most out of what's in front of you and take advantage of it before it's too late. Make hay when the sun shines. Today's date is June 12, 2008, and you will never get another day like this again. This, this is the very last time the class of 2008 will be together. Every day, every day is such a blessing and such an opportunity to make a new friend, an opportunity to make someone smile, an opportunity to hang out with your family, and every day is an opportunity to focus on what you can do instead of what you can't. We only get one life to live. One life. So why not make the most out of every single moment of it? Why not? To take every opportunity you're given. Nothing is more tragic than a missed opportunity. Green Central has given us many opportunities now I know we are, we are all grateful, grateful for those, those opportunities. But now, class of 2008, we turn, we turn a page in the book of life. life. So, so be sure to focus on the positives and things we can, can do. And make, make hay when, when the sun shines. Thank, Thank you. you. this time to thank our special guests. Each of these individuals has played an important role in our education. Please stand as I call your name. Green Central Advisory Council members are Mrs. Ann Barron, Peggy Belcher, Mrs. Angela Howard, Mrs. Deborah Joyner, Mrs. Darlene Shepard, Ms. Joyce Whitaker. Our other advisory council members not seated on stage include Mrs. Rochelle Braswell, Mr. John Carpenter, Mrs. Sheila Carraway, Mr. Charles Carter, Mrs. Misty Chase, Mrs. Sharon Chase, Mrs. Michelle Dale, Mrs. Marguerite Everett, Mr. Jerry Gopp, Mrs. Angie Piner, Mr. Don Rivero, Board of Education Chairman, Mrs. Pat Adams, Mr. Joshua Bayfield, Vice Chairman, Mr. Jerry Carraway, Mrs. Martha Carraway, Mr. Joe Smith, Principal of Snow Hill Primary, Mrs. Brenda Hagen, Incoming Principal of West Green, Debbie Daniel, Principal of Green County Middle School, Greg Monroe, Principal of Green Early College, Mr. Steve Bryant, Assistant Principals of Green Central High School, Ms. Susan Jones, Mrs. Annell George McLaughorn, and Mr. Jimmy Somerville. Principal of Green Central High School, Dr. Randy Bloodsoe. Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Pat McNeil. Current Principal of West Green and Incoming Superintendent, Mr. Patrick Miller. Superintendent, Dr. Steve Mazingo. At this time, I would like to thank Dr. Mazingo to come forward. On behalf, On behalf of the graduating, graduating class of 2008, I would like to present you with this plaque as thanks for your many contributions to education and the well-being of the students at Green County School.
Greetings. On behalf of the Green County Board of Education, I would like to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremonies for the Green Central High School class of 2008. This is truly a remarkable class. They have embraced technology and opportunity.